Uh, what makes this evolution so dangerous is these pilots have never landed on an aircraft carrier before. They're brand new and small aircraft coming out to an aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean. Growing up in Queens, New York, uh, being first generation American was a challenge in itself. And uh, what made me fall in love with aviation in general, uh, to follow in suit of naval aviation, was stepping foot on a, on a plane for the first time going to Brazil. And then, not even three weeks later, I was in my first air show, and I saw the Blue Angels for the first time. And right then and there, I asked my mother, and I still remember this day, that, is that really someone flying in there? And my mother said yes. And at that moment, my goal was set to become a naval aviator one way or another. Landing on the aircraft carrier for the first time was an experience in its own. The importance of getting pilots qualified on an aircraft carrier is to maintain our air superiority at sea. We're one of the only countries that have aircraft carriers and operate aviation at sea. We gotta maintain that. From dreaming as a little boy playing with a small aircraft carrier to actually rolling out on centerline and about to land it for the first time, it was exhilarating. As soon as I turned in and was rolling out into the groove, did my ball call. 139, stop my ball, point four, king of three. And then at that moment, Everything that we've been training up to this point was real. Roger ball, shit show. Uh, once landed, I didn't know what was going on at first because I was in off, but ultimately my training kicked in and at that moment that's when I knew that I had nine other arrested landings to go uh, in order to get my wings of gold. I think Air Department has grown tremendously. If you look back at the short history, we came from RCOH, nothing worked on this ship. We came out, we certified the flight tech, and now we're training squadrons and new pilots to land on aircraft carrier in a matter of two months. I think that's outstanding. After the first time, um, I had to go get gas uh, because it's a standard of a student. Once you come from the beach, you get gas and make sure you're, you're nice and heavy and you got enough gas uh, to keep practicing around. Um, but then, at that moment, all the training just started kicking in. It's looks, smells, and feels was the same. Uh, just running your numbers, turning over the wake, making sure you're lined up on set line and calling the ball. To me, uh, all I can say is just imagine as if someone punched you in the chest and they kept pushing you and making you lose your breath the entire time. This is a possibility for anybody from whatever race, background, religious belief that you, that you are. Anything you set your mind to and you put your heart to, 
and combine those two, plus being an American, there's nothing quite, quite like it. I know, I know, I know. I just know that my mother's going to see this. That's why. <laughs> She's going to love it. She's going to love it. Yeah.